What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So today, we're finally going to get to tow the Ding Ding with the Rammer, actually to the desert with the real, you know, actually get some good miles in our real tow testing, uh, gonna climb some hills, and we're gonna try out the new hitch. I have not towed this thing with the new hitch. I'm pretty sure it's gonna tow really good, but I don't know, I have had not towed it yet. I have not towed it yet, uh, long distance, nor have I hooked up the distribution bar. So, we're gonna start this uh, old Rammer up and, well, Let's get her hooked up. She's probably going to tell me grid heater or something like that, or please wait. Yep, well, diesel preheat. Please wait. Man, it's not even that cold. I wonder uh, for you guys like in Canada or in places that are where it's cold, how long or how many times you gotta do this. I mean, come on, it's only like 50 degrees. There we go. <laughs> Woo! All right, get, whoa, whoa, what's going on? What are you doing? Oh, okay guys. We got the big ding ding behind us. Show them big ding ding back there. Big ding ding 2.0. There you go. Big ding ding is back Mommy. there. What's what's wrong? What's wrong? Yeah, baby. <laughs> Daddy's recording. All right, all right. Hey, I'll kick my seat. I'll finish the finish from here. So, um, we got the ding ding behind us. So far, what I've noticed, it is heavier for sure. But a lot of you guys said I should be putting the Can-Am back it in for the weight uh, so it doesn't, you know, sit and dance on me. I pulled it straight in. So far, it's good. I got a 90 back there behind the Can-Am and a little generator. But as of right now, it's tone great. I noticed it tones a lot smoother than the Weekend Warrior. Uh, this seems, I don't know, maybe because leaf springs aren't worn out. Maybe it's new parts. Uh, you know, I'm sure that's what it is, but as of right now, it's towing great. The truck doesn't even know it's back there. We are in fifth, fifth gear at, I'd say 1700 RPM, that's 63, 62. It's, it's been fluctuating anywhere between 60 to 65 uh, miles an hour, but it's pulling it no problem. Here's a little hill we're climbing uh, right now, guys, and I mean, my foot's barely in it. I'm at you know 70 1800 rpm 1819 and i mean this truck is just pulling it like there's nothing back there the power in this thing is incredible it's even with this extra weight and you know i think so i'm probably 14 15 thousand right now uh loaded with the water the propane uh the cars you know fuel the little quad probably 14 15 thousand you figure the uh, empty uh, this thing it said it was 10,100 pounds so you figure with 160 gallons of water the can ams about 15 1600 pounds uh, we got about 40 gallons of fuel we got I want to say I think 14 15 gallons of propane uh, it's so it's, it's full it's it's you know this is pretty much it and I don't think I can add any more weight in it we got it full and we got the back of the bed is full full of wood uh, so the bed's full. We're, uh, we're we're hauling some weight here now. I know for some of you guys it's not a lot of weight because you guys got some big tractors at 25, 30 thousand pounds. Uh, but it's for the you know person that wants to go to the desert, wants to tow a toy hauler, you know. And even if you're at 15 thousand, I mean, this truck pulls it like uh, there's nothing back there. And look at this guy. So a lot of you guys asked me about drive pressure. You know the boost and exhaust pressure how it's supposed to be one to one look at that so that's the boost the top left and then right under it is exhaust pressure i mean that's pretty much perfect right there you can't get much perfect than that usually a lot of tuners will be off by about anywhere between three to five this thing is literally almost dead on if not dead on so i gotta give it to matt at optimal welding his tunes are amazing all right guys we have arrived well we actually arrived a while ago but it's uh it's a little late now it's a little dark but we've arrived tomato. we got yeah my baby mama's making burgers i'll take a tomato avocado um onion yeah you know the the essentials but so we got the uh toy hauler set up here she is watching TV on the little TV. Not the big monster, that's daddy's TV right there. That's right. All right. And we have this child. Child. Oh boy. You eating your food? Okay, good job. Oh, you're done? What? Let me check the muscles first. Let me check them, let me check them. Oh yeah, they're growing. 
They're oh, growing. Oh, yeah, you're growing, huh? All right, you want your blue one? Well, guys, now it is cigar time and uh, food time. I got to say, this is a beautiful, beautiful day out here. Got the fire going over there, TV going over there. Got all the lights on. So far, uh, you know, we're having good luck with this. Knock on some uh, plyboard. Sounds too thin to be wood. And we have no issues. Good morning, guys. Or I should say good after uh, noon over here. It's a beautiful, uh, well, it was sunny. Now it's cloudy. But uh, almost everybody, we had a lot of people cancel because of this whole uh, Corona chingus going on. So uh, pretty much it's Uncle Norm, Pops, me, and uh, Brandon has showed up. Well, this whole big opening, well, because, like I said, everybody's canceled. That's a beautiful ram right there. Check it out, Big Lou. Look at that nice little dually. But uh, I got to say, so far, very happy with this, guys. Uh, it towed great. You know, I got here good. Everything's working. I know this thing looks like it's, like, lifted like this. But according to the bubble in my fridge and when you walk inside, it feels great and level. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I don't know. It seems good right now. And for the generator... So I want to show you guys the uh, generator that I use. So yes, it does have the 5500. Like I said, this is it. It comes with it. I don't use it because it's loud. Like I said in the last video, this is what I use. Look at this thing. It's a little Westinghouse 4500. It's nice. It tells you fuel. tells you the um, load, how much load it's on. It's a remote start and push button. So when you're inside, you can start it or you can turn it off. I mean, listen to this thing. Can't even hear. Yes, I got it wrapped, but it comes uh, blue. Just hook it up to this. That's it. I mean, listen. You can't even hear this thing. It's so quiet. And this is Brandon's Ram that he just purchased here. He just got this a couple months ago. It is a Laramie 2500. I got to say, this color is uh, beautiful. I like the color a lot. And I think he wants to do some stuff. He was talking about doing some tires and stuff to it, but he's probably going to tint the windows and do all that. You know, good stuff in it. Hopefully, oh, it's bullshit. <laughs> I can be on YouTube, of course I can. You can talk about Corona on YouTube. I did a video on how to not get the coronavirus. You gotta drink potatoes, not Corona. Yeah. Well, did you lick all the door handles? I licked them all. Okay, perfect. So, okay, good. So we're clean on that. So what we've been doing, guys, pretty much is been watching the news about this Corona. It's getting really ridiculous. Uh, so I told them to turn the stupid TV off and uh, like they don't they just stay away from each other And I think this is the best spot to be quarantining right here. It's in the desert. It's the cleanest look ah, See what do you think cleanest? Quarantine free. There you go. This is the cleanest air out I figure we got to stay at her minimum a month uh, And that's about it. We're good to go. And then we got the smoker going Big Lou and the alkylator are not here So Mike is taking over. We're not eating pizza, right? No, we need chicken. All right, what do we got in there? Do we have anything? Let's go. I'll go. I'll go check for you guys over here real quick. See what we got cooking up over here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Whoa, 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 whoa! What's going on over here? They need some toilet paper. They got some dirty butts. <laughs> I think he's trying to put a light on his Danger Ranger over here. I don't know what. You know, when little kids get their trucks. Look what. Look what. Look what. Look what he's trying to do over here. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing, dude? Yeah, I caught you. What? Well, I saw you touch your headlight. Are you gonna pull your headlight out and put that thing in there? What? What, <laughs> what happened? Whoa! 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 What? What? It's just my. Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Look! 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 That's why. What are you gonna do with that one, though? I don't know. And then you got Justin Bieber over there. What's that, dude? Yeah, dude. Let's jump that. Yeah. <laughs> So, I'm trying to figure out here what we're doing. He's gonna mount his lights. <laughs> where, where are you gonna put that? I'm just curious to know. I know. Where are you gonna put them? We were. And he's gonna drill out the method. <coughs> put them on a truck. We were gonna wire that up on my bike tonight, you know. All right. You got it, dude. Yeah, dude. Shred it, dude. Shred it, dude. Why don't you like mount them somewhere like? Like, it's got a mount, right? This is going to be a way. I'm getting a pre-runner bumper. Oh, okay. I'm not a pre-runner bumper. What kind of bumper are you going to do? Is it just a pre-runner brand? No. What brand is it? I'm going to have it made. Oh, okay. All right. My bad. Ball. Why well, are you looking temporary? Temporary, maybe just you can mount it under here. So you got, like, some fog lights. Yeah, turn it the other way. Dumbest mount ever. Turn, well, we can get you new mounts. Are you trying to do it, like, now? Yes. Now? How are you going to wire everything? You're gonna run a wire or you got a switch you're gonna do all this stuff 
I mean, you're trying to get busy now. I can't help you now. I don't have no mounts here, but in the garage, I got some mounts for you. Can we bring it over? Yeah, you can bring it to the house and we can do it. No, you can't mount it there. Or we can put them like in the grill. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, we can put them in the grill, but we need some tools, dude. We don't have that. I mean, let's see if this can am has got any tools over here. It's got paddles to support up to 500 horsepower. <laughs> but uh, other than that... Got a cocktail to support a thousand. Oh, there you go. Nice. Hey, nice. Get what's he doing? Is he trying to jump the road? He this squid. What's he doing? Well, the road's only five feet uh, like wide. Let's see if we can get him jump the road. Well, actually, let's see if we can get him crashing. That'd be a great thumbnail. Of him flying over the handlebars. <laughs> Let's see, let's see, guys. That's a good land. Oh, that's where he's been jumping. You can see the, the little dirt part. He's all roosted on the Yeah, roosted all over. Hey, 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 you know, our tax money pays for that street. You're going to clean it up? I don't know, Go up there. I know, but I got to find a spot in between those trees. That was gnarly, dude. That was gnarly, dude. I got it, dude. Are you jumping the street next? Go ahead. You got suspension, dude. Look at that. He just did suspension and everything on it, right? Yeah, he's down. Jump that street. You got it. <laughs> oh. He did, uh, didn't he do like coilover shocks? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, he did everything to it. We let some air out of there. Yeah, let some air out. Dude, that's it. We let some air out. You can go anywhere. He's good to go. Where's he going? Look at the whip. He got a nice radio coming out the top. Dude, he's way set up. I'm not having I'm not oh. having I'm not having I'm not having Alright guys, so he's going to try the other side of the street here. And see uh, how he likes it. I don't have the endurance anymore to ride my dirt bike, but uh, you know, it'd be kind of fun. Oh, you can run it! <laughs> well guys, day three here. Uh, we got a lot of people moving in. We got some more camps. Now that there was camps there, and a highway patrol came by. Uh, he just sort of scanned the area, but he didn't say anything. He just the highway patrol had been coming by, so I think they're just keeping the groups at a minimal. So you see, guys, this is what's nice about the little generator. We got one AC on over here. This big generator, loud one, is off because that thing sucks fuel and it is not quiet. Now this thing with the one AC on is pulling, uh, I believe, 16 or 17 amps. I believe it's at a 50%, yeah, see that 50% load right there? And you know, it's a lot quieter still than uh, the other one that would be running. All right guys, nothing like a night of a little Fast and Furious. And let's see what we got cooking over here. Oh, whoa, 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 ooh, baby. Can't wait to smack on that. Oh, that looks good right there. Oh, well guys, it's Sunday, sad day. We're back home, back here, clearly in the garage, you can see. I didn't get too much uh, riding footage. Believe it or not, we didn't even go on a ride. Uh, I, you know, with my son there, I just rode him around. Uh, you know, my uncle, he had some surgery, so he couldn't ride. It was a small group, you know, that was the quarantine, uh, I should say, uh, obsession. And uh, a lot of you guys out there, you know, stay safe. Hopefully this whole uh, coronavirus isn't, you know, destroying people out there and making you guys just go crazy. Uh, but stay, stay positive, you know, that's going to help. But other than that, uh, we're probably going to head back out next weekend. Hopefully not sure just because, well, I mean, I'm going to be bored not being able to, you know, at least if I am home, I can go places, go drive places, uh, go to an Apple store, go somewhere. Uh, you know, we're supposedly stuck home. And if I even want to go somewhere, you know, everything is closed. So as of right now, uh, the rammer told the attitude perfectly, perfectly. It was amazing. Uh, a lot of you guys said I might have to back the Razor in. Uh, I didn't have to back it in. I pulled it in. It is tight, but hey, it was a good trip. Very good weekend. For the little kid that came and said what's up to me at the gas station on Centro and took a photo of me, thank you, man. I appreciate it. And I hope you guys had a good weekend out in the desert. So everybody that I run into out in the desert, you guys say what's up to me. It means a lot to me, guys. It really, really does. But that's all I got for you guys. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.